Hey guys, it's Yvette, and I am back with my second box tonight. Um, and uh, just to let you guys know, yes, it is the Quilty box. I've decided that I would give it a go for another like month or so and see if you know it's coming around to what I like. And if not, then I'll go ahead and suspend the um, the subscription again. Um, so, anyways, let's get it open and see what they got this month. Uh, okay, so first thing says classic quilty box January 2018. Um, oh, I know why I started this one again. Okay, because um, this lady is, um, hold on, Canton Village Quilt Works. I think that she started that company in Arizona and now it's here in Connecticut. And so I thought I would check out what she's doing. Um, and I did take a look and it seems like she does a lot with, um, with, um, batiks and I used to be really into batiks. Like if you go up in my, in my sewing room now, I do have remnants still left over like, um, two and a half inch strips and stuff like that of, um, batiks. But I definitely have steered away from them, and, you know, lately and um i would probably only use them if i if i like needed a specific like if i really needed a specific type of you know and, and that would fit the bill um but anyway i just wanted to um see what she was going to have in store for us so um the next thing that comes out is their bundles of inspiration magazine which as i said in the um, last video where I was talking about the kids um, thing where they were making the donation. Oh, getting excited. I just saw, <laughs> I just saw this. Catterday, got really excited. Love Catterday. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's what we're getting. I have no idea. I would, I would be surprised if she was Catterday person, but I'd be very excited. Um, but I love how they have this little magazine now because it talks about things that are in the box and where you can get them and the background and blah, blah, blah. So that's really cool. And I'm gonna open this up now. See what's inside. Oh, okay. Well, this is exciting so far. There is a ruler inside. Um, it is a Deb Tucker's Studio 180 Design Wing Clipper 1. And, um, of course, they always come with the instruction on how to use the ruler, which is really great. Um, I actually haven't heard of wing clipper, so it looks like it's a different way, uh, once again, to make um, the flying geese. I'm not sure, though. We'll have to see, but that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, it's not catter day. <laughs> um, let me pull out the fabric since I'm talking about it now. So... I think that also the thing is that Quilty Box has started to put together, like they curate um, something where you get the pattern, you get um, at least enough fabric for the front, for like the front of the quilt. And I'm not sure about the binding, but I think the back backing you probably have to buy yourself. I don't know, we're gonna see in a minute. Um, but like I said, she's a batik lady and these are definitely batiks. Let me get them open so you can, um, see what those look like all right and okay and what's really cool also is it looks like um, yeah it looks like they they give you like the name of the of the line that it's in and all that kind of stuff so you can reorder if you need to um, um, is that focusing in, I hope? Um, so that's the first fabric. This little color here feels sort of like a fat quarter. I'm not sure, but, oh wait, it says right on there. 0.125 yards. So that's not, I don't know what the heck that means. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Uh, and here's another fabric that is 0.125 yards. I'd have to like um, do the math i guess and figure out what it is this one's really nice actually i mean this one isn't bad but it's it's kind of plain but there's probably a reason for that um but this one's really pretty i mean i can still really appreciate the batiks i just um you know i i've started feeling that they're just so specific you know like they kind of need to go together 
Uh, so this is another 0.125 yards. I'm, I'm thinking it feels like a fat quarter, but I'm not sure. Um, there's another one. And 0.125 yards of this one in sort of a purplish color. Yeah, you can see that color. Okay, and this is um, a quarter yard, and it says 0.25. So this is a quarter yard of this fabric. Which is really pretty. Oh, this one's nice. Quarter yard of this one. I like that one. And you know what's really great um, to me about batiks um, is how you can really use either side of the fabric. There's not like a right and a wrong side. So I tend to just really take a look at both sides and see, you know, does one side look better to me than the other? I mean, you know, usually they look the same pretty much, but sometimes there can be little variations, just little. Um, and here's the next one. Let's see. And that is a uh, quarter yard as well. Very pretty. And this is a quarter yard. This one's very wintry. It's really nice. Um, and another quarter yard. It's quite a bit of fabric, guys. And uh, this is 0.375 yards. Is that a third? I have no idea. You guys, I'm terrible. I need like a calculator. You know what I'm saying? I mean, 0.25, I know that's a quarter. <laughs> but this one's very nice. I like that one. Sort of looks like little blueberries, doesn't it? <laughs> Um, and this is the last one and it's 0.625 yards. So it's a, a little over half. I'm, I'm thinking two thirds, but I'm, that actually sounds like too much, but I'm not sure. And there's that. Okay, so there's the fabric and the ruler. The next thing that's inside, oh, there's a, um, a spool of, is this Orphil? Yes, Orphil thread, 100% cotton, and 50 weight, and it's just a cream color. So that would go with everything in there. Yeah. And there is a package of quilting pins, fine quilting pins by Clover. And there they are, and it's a little glary. So let's get that open. I do have a pair of scissors right here. Um, Oh, these are nice. Are these glass head pins? Yep, glass head pins, um, and they have red and green. And it is still sort of glary. I wonder if the, you know how, what I hate, and I know this is silly, but like they put this little piece of tape that's spo <laughs> supposed to like keep it closed, but then it's like, you know, you, you gotta kind of, so I don't want them to fly out. So there you go, red and green glass head pins. Um, very thin heads, so um, easy to sew slightly over if you need to. I mean, I don't really go crazy with it, but that's always very handy if, you know, it's something that definitely needs to stay. Um, okay, so hold up, because <laughs> I would think there would be a pattern in there, but there is no pattern in there. Okay, but like I said, first time getting back with the regular things, so... Wing clipper, quilting pins, or fill thread. Okay, so the pattern is in the, the magazine. Um, let me see. So I can show you what it's gonna look like. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, okay, so I think this is it, right? It's called Happy Blue Moon. Nope, air traffic control. Air traffic control. Oh, here it is. Air traffic control, finished quilt, 41 by 41. Oh, Blue Moon is the line of the batiks that we are using. Blue Moon Batik Collection by Jackie Conkle for Island Batik. And um, is that the only picture of the... Because it's, it's just not a full picture is all I'm saying. Oh, good. It looks like there's paper piecing. Oh, that's something different. Okay, well, here's a little piece <laughs> of what the quilt's going to look like. Um, 
And that is, I mean, flying geese, that's what that is. So I guess that's what the ruler's for, is like a different way to do the flying geese, I guess. Um, I guess we'll find out when we're using that. Um, yeah, so very cool. And um, do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Materials list. Mm -hmm. Quarter yard, turquoise branches, blue branches, one eighth of a yard. Okay, so all those other ones, those were one eighth of a yard. Okay, so yes, three yards of a batik for backing. So we would need to, um, we need to buy that if we'd want to finish the quilt. And it looks like it does include the binding. So all the fabric that we have includes what you would use for the binding. Um, and so it looks like the only thing that we would need to buy would be the backing and the batting. And that's it. Um, and then you'd be able to make this quilt. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's our quilty box for January. And um, I will be sure to put all the information below. So if this is uh, a box that you'd be interested in uh, pursuing, you can go check it out. Um, so I will see you guys next time and um, be safe out there in the snow and ice because <laughs> apparently it's coming. Bye-bye. I'll see you guys later.